The latest version of the MK48 ad cap, advanced capability, is the Mod 7 Common Broadband Advanced Sonar System. The MK48 ad cap Mod 7 Bass Torpedo is the result of a joint development program with the Royal Australian Navy. With Common Broadband Advanced Sonar System, or CBAS, electronics to go into the nose of the weapon as part of the guidance section, Lockheed and Navy developers explained. CBAS technology provides streamlined targeting, quieter propulsion technologies and an ability to operate with improved effectiveness in both shallow and deep water. Also, the Mod 7 decreases vulnerability to enemy countermeasures and allows the torpedo to transmit and receive over a wider frequency band, Lockheed and Navy developers say. The new technology also involves adjustments to the electronic circuitry to allow the torpedo to better operate in its undersea environment. Many of these innovations built into the MK48 ADCAP underway for several years, are now more fully coming to fruition as the first Columbia-class boat comes to life over just the next few years. Delivery of the first boat, now named the U.S. District of Columbia, is slated for 2027. Its first patrol is scheduled for 2031. Naturally, having a functional and more high-tech lethal torpedo affords the Navy an opportunity to hit enemies more effectively and at further standoff ranges and therefore better compete with more fully emerging undersea rivals such as Russia and China. The MK-48 heavyweight torpedo is used by all classes of U.S. Navy submarines as their anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare weapon, including the Virginia class and the future Columbia class. Navy efforts to pursue new torpedo technologies are happening alongside a concurrent effort to upgrade the existing arsenal. For several years now, the Navy has been strengthening its developmental emphasis upon the MK-48 as a way to address its aging arsenal. The service restarted production of the MK-48 Torpedo Mod 7. The Navy's upgraded Mod 7 MK-48 torpedo variant will arm the Columbia-class nuclear-armed ballistic missile submarines with a longer range, more lethal and more capable conventional weapon. While lesser recognized than the Columbia's nuclear weapons, the MK-48 adds substantial new dimensions to the boat's lethality and mission scope. The first Columbia-class submarine, now named the USS District of Columbia, will be armed with MK-48 torpedoes, according to a recently published Naval Sea Systems Command report. At the same time, the upgraded MK-48 weapon is also introducing paradigm-changing quieting technologies to help ensure the highly secretive Columbia-class submarine's task with ensuring the survival of the U.S. remain undetected. In effect, it would be accurate to say that the upgraded variant of the Navy's MK-48 torpedo has some stealthy characteristics. An earlier version, the MK-48 Mod 6, has been operational since 1997, and the more recent Mod 7 has been in service since 2006. Since that time, Lockheed Martin has been working on upgrades to the MK-48 Torpedo Mod 6 and Mod 7, which consist of adjustments to the guidance control box, broadband sonar acoustic receiver and amplifier components. Modifications to the weapon have improved the acoustic receiver, replaced the guidance and control hardware with updated technology, increased memory, an improved processor throughput to handle the expanded software demands required to improve torpedo performance against evolving threats, according to Navy data on the weapon. Improved propulsion, quieting technology, targeting systems and range enhancements naturally bring a substantial tactical advantage to Navy undersea combat operations. Attack submarines are often able to operate closer to enemy targets and coastline undetected, reaching areas typically inaccessible to deeper draft surface ships. 
Such an improvement would also, quite possibly, enable attack submarines to better support littoral surface platforms such as cruisers, destroyers, and even carriers. Working in tandem with surface ship anti-submarine and surface warfare systems, attack submarines with a more capable torpedo could better identify and attack enemy targets near coastal areas and shallow water enemy locations. Avoiding detection is of course critical for the SSBNs, which is one reason why the Navy's new Columbia-class submarines are expected to be the quietest ever built, as they are engineered with an X-shaped stern for quieter, less turbulent maneuverability, and quieter electric drive propulsion system and even quieting technologies built into its MK-48 heavyweight torpedoes. These innovations are extremely critical, as ensuring that the location of secret Columbia-class submarines remains unknown to enemies is essential to the survival of the United States. This is also one reason why the nuclear-capable boat is also armed with heavyweight torpedoes with advanced data links and targeting technology to ensure the boat can eliminate threats and defend itself against an attack. A military analysis network report from the Federation of American Scientists further specifies that the torpedo uses a conventional, high-explosive warhead. The 48 Malawian Quatches is propelled by a piston engine with twin, contrarotating propellers in a pump jet or shrouded configuration. The engine uses a liquid monopropellant fuel. Submarine operators are able to initially guide the torpedo toward its target as it leaves the launch tube, using a thin wire designed to establish an electronic link between the submarine and torpedo, the information says. This helps the torpedo avoid decoys and jamming devices that might be deployed by the target. The wire is severed and the torpedo's high-powered active-slash-passive sonar guides the torpedo during the final attack, FAS writes. Lockheed Martin Sipikin was awarded a new deal to work on guidance and control technology on the front end of the torpedo, and SAIC was awarded the contract for the afterbody and propulsion section, Naval Sea Systems Command officials announced at the time. The MK-48, which is a heavy weapon launched under the surface, is quite different than surface-launched, lightweight MK-54 torpedoes fired from helicopters, aircraft, and surface ships, the upgraded MK-48 variant is more lethal and has now been upgraded to include improved propulsion, explosives, electronics and quieting technologies. The Navy's MK-48 torpedo is also in service with Australia, Canada, Brazil, and the Netherlands. <laughs>